All right, fam. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Vitris Pro BF Gaming Controller for your Xbox, your PCs, and your PlayStation. Let's dive in. This is the Vitrix Pro BFG Gaming Controller, Modular Controller. Let's dive in and check it out. Right there, that's one of your reset buttons on there. That's the function button. It has a little weight to it. This is what you get in your box and your kit or in the case or whatever. This comes in it. So first you get your, your uh, it's not a screwdriver. I think it's an Allen wrench right there. That's what you're going to use to take the modules in and out. That's a D-pad right there. Comes with two of them. That's one of them right there. And this is the other one right here. So like I said, this is for your Xbox, your PlayStation and your PCs. So the Xbox and the PC uh, is the same unit. Those are your joysticks uh, modules where you can adjust the height. You have a taller one, then you have a smaller one. You know, just to customize your hand size. And that's a small one right there. Very small. This right here is your modular pad. Not pad, should I say. Uh, your buttons, your modular buttons. Okay, you can put those on either side, right, either fam, way. Today we're going to be taking a look at and this that's your joystick ring. Pro BF game. The joystick ring has for your some Xbox, little corners your on it, and so when you're moving the joystick, you can kind of get in. stuck in that little spot, so you can have a feel where the joystick is at. The one that comes on it is smooth all the way around, and this is your Bluetooth dongler. All right, so with this dongler. If you plug it into a PC, it will recognize it as a Xbox controller. If you set it up where it's just connecting directly to your computer's Bluetooth, it's going to show up as generic. See, easy peasy. They just pop right out, in and out, on both sides. So you can configure it any way you want to. And if I'm correct, you can kind of swap them out so they can go. The knob can be up instead of down and the button vice versa. Just pop your joystick knob off. And it has a flat surface on each side. So that's the way it has to go in. I'll show you this in a second. There we go. So. You just line everything up and it pops in. Bam. Okay. And that's your little ring that goes back on there. Also, man, these guys are paying attention. The screws stay in. <laughs> if anything like your boy Savage, those screws would have been everywhere by now. All right, so the only thing you have to do is just screw them, tighten them back down. Put it in, tighten it back down. You know, one, two, three, easy peasy. That's your pad right there. So they just pop out. You got two extra pads. Okay. I'm assuming you have a PlayStation pad and an Xbox pad. And you line those up. See those little notches right there? You line them up with that. And that's your power on. That's your little function button that's flashing. And you just power it on. That light is actually purple. But it doesn't look like it in the video, but it's purple. Same color as the little accent on the, on the controller itself. And then if you wanted to put that button pad in there, you just put it in and swap it out man this thing feels great it vibrates very strongly and it feels nice in the hands very responsive you know but like I said you have a bunch of customizations that you can do on it to set the Bluetooth you press 
and hold the Xbox button and the menu button for four seconds and then you'll get your flashing. All right, this thing is gorgeous. Picked it up for the little one. Also, you like uh, this thing comes with an app for setting up on your on your PCs. And very intuitive, very illustrated app that we have. And when you first connect it, I would suggest that you connect it with the cable that it came with because you're probably going to have to do a firmware update. And after that firmware update, or maybe before, I think it's after, then you'll configure the knobs and the sensitivity and all that stuff on there to make sure everything is calibrated. Like I said, it's easy peasy to do. Just follow the illustrations and it tells you everything you need to do. So that shouldn't be an issue. Also, I think this is uh, Adobe Atmos compatible. Adobe Atmos on the box. Sure, if it's Xbox, it's, it's, it's Adobe compatible. We're going to play around with this controller here for a little while and see how it works. And then we're going to give some more feedback on it. So you can test and calibrate the sticks. Also, you can program the buttons that's on the back of the unit. See, you have one, two, three, four. And those little two buttons that's up top in the middle, those are for your trigger spacing. So you can shorten your trigger so you can get quicker trigger action. This is your boy Savage. Out.